we can contrast the adiabatic expansion with an isothermal expansion. In an isothermal expansion, we somehow allow the gas to expand to decrease the pressure so that the volume goes up and the pressure goes down, uh, perhaps by not opening a valve and letting the gas escape out into the air, uh, but perhaps by uh, pulling back a piston very slowly to allow the volume of the system to increase while we keep the system in contact with a thermal source, with the hot water, for example. So somehow we manage to expand the gas while keeping it in contact with the thermal source and keeping its temperature constant. In this case, we have PV equals constant. We can plug the P and the V from this state in to determine the constant, and then P is going to be the constant over V. We'll be able to get the shape of that curve. In this case, there is a delta Q into the system. Thermal energy goes into the system from your thermal energy or heat source. There is work done by the expansion. Okay, As the gas expands, it pushes against whatever is receding, whatever piston is receding or whatever, and does work. And uh, the amount of work done is going to be the negative of the uh, thermal energy added. This is because, as an isothermal process, there's no change in the kinetic energy of the molecules. There's no change in the internal energy, then, of the system. Remember, isothermal means same temperature. Same temperature means same average kinetic energy per molecule. means same total internal energy. So in an isothermal process, internal energy doesn't change so that the work done in the expansion is the negative of the thermal energy that comes in from the heat source.